A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, March 8th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. CSX, one of the nation's largest railroad companies, announced plans for additional safety measures on Tuesday in response to renewed calls for added safety. Several major derailments, including the Norfolk Southern train in East Palestine, Ohio, in which 20 rail cars carrying hazardous materials, including highly flammable vinyl chloride, are adding to the call for safety. On February 14th, a CSX train derailed in Inori, South Carolina, with no injuries or threats to the environment. On Tuesday, U.S. Senator Charles Schumer called on the major railroad companies to provide evidence of what they're doing to prevent future catastrophes. I asked him to come meet with me. He came sort of quickly, and so that's encouraging. We'll see what happens with these railroads. You never know. Sometimes they answer, they'll do it, and then they don't. But I stay on them very hard. One CSX trestle of concern to local officials is in the Highland area along the Hudson River, where wooden pylons are shoring it up. The Kingston Common Council last night approved premium pay bonuses for city employees who worked during the COVID-19 pandemic. Alderman Reynolds Scott Childress was pleased to lend his support to the plan. These are people who continued, even in very dire circumstances, to continue to work on our sewers, to climb down in our sewers and repair them, to uh, go to fires and put them out, to take care of people in distress. This is pretty amazing what our city officials, city workers did throughout the entire process. The city is appropriating nearly $688,000 with $300,000 in American Rescue Plan funds. For $3,000 bonuses, that will go to full-time union employees who work 100% of the time from the commencement of the pandemic from March 13, 2020 to the end of the mayor's declaration of the state of emergency, July 2, 2021. Part-time employees who work 100% of the time will get $1,500 bonuses. Full-time employees during the same time period who were on 40% to nearly 75% of the payrolls will receive $1,500 bonuses, and part-time employees will receive $750 for the same payroll times. The city is also paying about $76,000 to management staff not covered by a union contract. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The state has awarded the City of Kingston School District $3.2 million for high-tech security upgrades. Funding is coming from the state's Smart Schools Bond Act. Remodeling and transforming the former federal courthouse into a Middletown City Court building has come in way over anticipated costs, $5 million dollars, so the city is asking Washington for aid. City Public Works Commissioner Jacob Tawil told the Common Council last night the city's seeking funds for three projects. The mayor directed us to make the court as priority number one, which we did. We have major priorities, such as continuing the investment in our transmission mains, the finished water lines on Manhagen Avenue. We applied for that as well. And then we applied for raw water lines, which is where all our water comes from, different reservoirs. We applied for a grant for that. To Will said the requests for funding have been made to Congressman Pat Ryan and Senators Charles Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand. William Dickey, convicted of murder and manslaughter in Dutchess County for the January 2022 death of his girlfriend, Danielle DiStefano, was sentenced to prison on Tuesday. Dutchess County Court Judge Jessica Siegel ordered the 43-year-old Rhinebeck resident to spend 25 years to life in prison on the murder conviction and a concurrent sentence of 7.5 to 15 years for the manslaughter conviction. 
I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.